Does your approach to anxiety stop you from meeting girls you want to talk to? Today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday to help you get the girls you want and becoming the man you're meant to be. Now, a lot of guys suffer from approach anxiety, and it sucks because it, in the end, it holds you back from meeting the girls that you want. But today, I'm gonna show you my best inner game and outer game strategies for crushing that approach anxiety and talking to the girl you like. Now, let's get into it. So put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up the do something. The next time you see a beautiful girl, I want you to be conscious of the excuses that you make in your own head about why you shouldn't approach her. Maybe, oh, she could have a boyfriend, or she's walking too fast, or she's on the phone. Whatever it is, write these excuses down, make a note of them and reflect. Then ask yourself, is this really why I didn't approach her? Or is this just some bullshit rationalization I've made up? Seeing these excuses written down on paper is gonna make you realize like, what the fuck am I doing? Here's the thing, man. These excuses are just stories you're telling yourself about why you can't go for what you want. And despite all these excuses, despite all these stories, the only real reason you're not going for it is because you're letting your fear win. Once you realize like, hey, I'm actually the one who's holding myself back, that's when you can start making real progress and start actually implementing the rest of the advice you're gonna see in this video. So it's key. I could just stay the same or be winning the game. I was standing high and I win the fight. If y'all don't think I feel any approach anxiety, you could not be more wrong. Here's a quick story for you. So about a year ago, I was out in Berlin making an approach video and man, we were having a tough day. I had a couple harsh rejections. I had a couple okay approaches that just the filming wasn't good enough to use. And it was coming down to our last moments to get a good approach for this video or we basically couldn't use the video. That's when my buddy pointed out this German girl who was sitting by this little lake in the park. And he's like, bro, go up and do it. This is it, make it happen. And I was so in my head, man. I had so much anxiety in that moment because I just had such a shitty day and I just, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't on my game. But I looked at my buddy, I said, you know what? Go get set up, get ready to film this. I'm gonna make it happen. So I walked up to her and said, what's up? And we clicked right away. We had instant chemistry. Hello, I know this is really random, but I saw you over here with your little cute bag. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to say hi. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Boston, oh. United States. And not only was it one of the best approaches I've ever had on camera, but the video went on to get over 120,000 views. And a lot of it was because of that approach. And none of it would have been possible if I didn't look my approach anxiety in the face and decide to beat it. The point is this, man. It's not about figuring out how to like cure your approach anxiety, which a lot of guys are asking about. It's about learning to deal with it and decide, hey, I'm not gonna let this win. I am going to overcome this. So you can't sit there and read an article or watch a video and be like, oh, wow, that's it. My approach anxiety is cured. I am good to go. It doesn't work like that, bro. How do you get over the fear of climbing a mountain? You don't read an article about it. You climb a fucking mountain. So get this idea that you need to cure it out of your head. It's always gonna be there, bro. I hate to tell you, I've approached thousands of girls and I still feel some anxiety when I see a, a beautiful girl I wanna talk to. The difference is, you gotta decide not to let that fear win. Not today, not right fucking now, never. Don't see that fear as an obstacle. See it as fuel and allow it to push you forward into talking to that girl, into doing whatever is holding you back. They say courage is not the absence of fear, it's acting in spite of that fear. And that's how you gotta deal with approach anxiety, bro. Just because you have it, doesn't mean it has to cripple you. You can overcome it. There's two aspects of the bigger picture that I want you to think about and consider. First, I know she over there looking sexy. She got all them curves, you ain't got no breaks, all that good stuff. But this is not just about a girl. See, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So no, this isn't just about a girl. This is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you're the type of man who goes for what he wants. You don't let fear win. You don't let anxiety beat you. So when you're sitting there thinking like, oh man, she's looking good, but I don't know. I don't know about you do it. Think about this. Are you gonna be the soy boy motherfucker who settles in life and just accepts what the world gives to him? Or are you gonna be the motherfucker who takes what he wants. 
Because you better believe, bro, if you allow yourself to bend at the whims of your fear in this area for this seemingly small decision, it's going to pervade to other areas of your life. So no, this decision to approach or let your anxiety win, it's not just about a girl. It's about who you are as a man and whether or not you're going to live the type of life that you're gonna be fulfilled by. Now the second part of the big picture is to shift your understanding of the risks involved. So of course there's the risk of rejection, which when you boil it down, is really just the risk of 30 seconds of uncomfortable conversation. But there's also the risk that if you don't approach it, you miss out on a potential amazing connection and an amazing relationship with the girl that could have changed your life. Imagine all the amazing experiences you could have with that beautiful girl then ask yourself, is avoiding that 30 seconds of discomfort and rejection really worth giving up all that potential? Bro, if you think if you think so, you're out of your fucking mind. I rise like a phoenix, born from the ashes. I take care of my A lot of guys think of rejection as a bad thing, like you fucked up, it's over, she's gonna destroy you and rip you apart as a man. And I really like that though. Yeah, rejection can be a little uncomfortable, trust me. I've been rejecting my fair share of times. Okay. Would, would you wanna hang out sometime? Um, I'm actually like not dating right now. <laughs> but the bigger key there is that rejection gives you an opportunity to learn from your mistakes. And then when you go out and approach a girl the next time around, you can implement those lessons and do a little bit better. And it's a cycle, it keeps getting better and better and better. The point is when you see that girl you wanna talk to, don't see it as like, oh, I'm either gonna go up and get rejected or it's gonna go well. See it as, all right, either I'm gonna go up and learn something new or I'm gonna get a number. Either you win or you learn or both. And either way, you get closer to attaining that dating life that you want. If you're not used to approaching a lot of girls, don't expect to walk up to her smooth as fuck looking like Casanova and deliver the perfect line. It's probably just not gonna happen. It's gonna make you super nervous. Instead, start slow. Even if you are used to approaching a lot of girls, those first few of the day are gonna be difficult because you haven't built any social momentum yet. That's why sometimes when I'll show those rejections, a lot of times it'll be from the beginning of the day when I just, I'm just like two in my head. This initial difficulty is a big reason a lot of guys get approach anxiety, but there's two quick ways you can fix it and make it a lot easier for yourself. First, try using mini approaches. So these are things like going up and asking for directions or going up and asking two people for the time. This gets you used to having social interactions. It makes you realize like, hey, I'm not gonna get killed by going up and saying hi to somebody. Another thing you can do if you really wanna have some fun with it is to go up and try to get rejected on purpose that way, you're not attached to the outcome at all because you know you want to just go up and get rejected. One great way to do this is to use a funny pickup line that you know is probably not going to go well. Hey. <laughs> Real quick, do you know if there's a place I can get some sunglasses around here? Because you just brightened my day. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this time we will win. This time we'll have to join forces. Going out there solo is all fine and dandy, and sometimes you have to do it, but it's a lot easier when you have a wingman. That, that way you have a guy out there for support, you can kind of go back to, run shit by him, and you can talk about it. That's a big reason why I team up with another YouTuber for most of my approach videos, and a big reason why I'm always on How To Beast channel when we're doing approach videos. It's helpful to have the other guy around to kind of push you over to talk to girls when you're feeling a little bit in your head. Because when you're sitting there trying to rationalize, like, oh, I don't know, He's like, bro, what are you doing? Go talk to her. So for this, you could ask one of your friends who's interested in self-improvement if he wants to go out and talk to some girls with you. Or if you are going out solo and say you're at the bar or something, you just go cheers a few random cool looking guys, start a conversation and go talk to girls with them. That little bit of support can make a big difference. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let So a big reason guys get approach anxiety is because they're afraid of running out of things to say or they don't know how to start the conversation. So it really helps to have a few openers and even a conversation structure in your back pocket. That's why whenever I make an approach video with How to Beast, we'll sit down beforehand, figure out the structure, what we're gonna say, and maybe we're gonna use this opener, then we're gonna make an assumption or ask this question. We know how it's gonna go down 
so it makes it a lot easier to make the approach. So yeah, of course, every conversation is gonna be different, but having those things helps you eliminate the approach anxiety because it takes away some of the uncertainty of what's gonna happen in the approach. If you wanna learn some great ways to start the conversation and keep it going, check out this playlist right here. It shows you both of those things. Let's keep it going. I'll see you there, homie.